As town mayor of St Ives, I welcome you to our service of remembrance. We look at the many names on this cross with great sadness, but also with great respect for those who made the ultimate sacrifice in order to defend freedom, protect our country, and preserve our way of life. We who are too young to know the horrors of World War must never forget the price that has been paid by so many that we may live free lives and enjoy the town that these servicemen and women have left, have left for the last time so many years ago. We remember all those who have suffered and died in conflict since. Similar parades and services are being held throughout the Commonwealth, led by Her Majesty the Queen and senior members of the Royal Family at Whitehall. tongues of men and of angels that have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that I can, re that I can <coughs> move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. Private Sidney G. Smith, Stoker First Class William J. Newby, Corporal Cyril J. Radford, Sergeant William O. Knight, Military Man, Lance Corporal Linton W. Lanter, Private William Lincoln, Private Jobby Joseph W. Lister, Private Frank M. Marston, Warrant Engineer Wilfred H. New. Lance Corporal Walter T. Earl. Second Lieutenant Walter J. Potter Jones. Trooper Roger T. Jones. Lieutenant Michael Kenny. Captain John Hill Johnson. Sergeant Dennis F. Kirby. Private Walter G. Fuller. Private George P. Beeson. Gunner James V. Gale. Private Frank L. Geeson. Private William A. Favell, Sergeant Eric Gates, Lance Corporal Bertram A. Clack, 
Private Ernest W. Claridge, Lance Corporal Ernest A. Clements, Gunner Harry C. Cooper, Guardsman Sidney J. A. Elston, Fusilier Ronald P. J. Fennell, Corporal Frank Bode, Private William C. Brown, Private Charles R. Butler, Private Hubert Butler, Private Kenneth W. S. Brown, Able Seaman Jeffrey G. Coates, Driver Matthew Bibbs, Corporal Horace F. Eagle, Fusilier Ronald P. J. Favell, Leading Radio Mechanic Leslie Allen Flack, Sergeant Robert Kiddle, Second Lieutenant Kenneth Waistall, Corporal Archibald Woods, Private Kenneth R. Wooten, Aircraftsman First Class Charlie Wright, all others known to us or known to God alone who have been killed serving their country in complex past or present, may they rest in peace and rise in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. They should grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. <laughs>
We remember those who you have gathered, have gathered into the peace of your presence, those we have known and loved, whose example has been an encouragement to us. Make us faithful that we with them may receive the crown of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We join in the act of commitment. Lord our God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve thee and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of wants and suffering, and for the praise of thy name. Amen.